bit of a panic moment right here at the beginning of this because um, I updated this operating system earlier in the week so that I could play Thronefall on Steam, the new uh, the new tower defense uh, tower defense game from Grizzly Games, makers of Islanders, one of my favorite games. If for the uh, local chat devotees here. Um, and uh, then I booted up OBS, like 20 minutes to go time, and my internal audio capture software was like, oh, we don't work with this operating system anymore. So I had to go frantically download a different software, and then I installed it and restarted my computer, and then my computer was like, oh no, it's fine, the old the old one is fine, it works now. Um, so that's a great anecdote. For those of you still listening, let's go over to the game. We start this up. We'll be playing. We'll be starting. I think today will just be like Sega Genesis Day. We're going to start with Grindstormer. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll just play through some. We'll play through some Genesis games and we'll see how we're feeling. Because um, there are a lot of good shmups on the Genesis. And uh, hopefully people will pop into chat so that I can talk about uh, the other things that I want to talk about. But yeah, this is Grindstormer, uh, published by uh, Tengen or Tengen. I'm not 100% sure how you should pronounce it. I believe developed though by Toa Plan, which uh, makes a lot of other interesting shmups and uh, has the word Toa in the title. So there's your. There's a uh, Ian's Bionicle to minute. What are we? Three minutes. Three minutes in, I get to mention Bionicles. And a Bionicle shmup. They kind of. Who? Wait, just a minute now. I'm suddenly. I'm like, they should make a Bionicle shmup, and they kind of did. In the uh, Matanui online game, it's um. There's a segment when um, you get to Lecoro. And uh, they're trying to. They've had you know a lot of Rahi action uh, disrupting their their lives for the past couple weeks, 
and uh, you go in there and you get together with uh, Kongu, and you start. Uh, the, there, there's a little <laughs> uh, second time, same missile. There's a bit of a ride of the Valkyries sequence where you go and you you're flying and you're taking down Rahi as you um, you're trying to get into the the nest because once you get into the nest, <laughs> third time same missile. Once you get into the nest, there's a fight between uh, Liwa and Onua. Great cutscene. Um, but uh, maybe I'll have to revisit that. <laughs> The Matanui online game, see if that segment holds up. Okay, we lived. We made it through. We made it through. A little bit of a slowdown there. I don't know how the uh, the frames are holding on the stream. Hopefully it's okay. Ooh, here we go. Ooh, it's bad. It's bad. It's it's no good. I don't think they need this whole big loading screen every time you die. Fade to black, then go to the go to the start card, and then fade back up. Feels overcomplicated. We can just 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 load my ship back in, because this is ninety three or ninety two ninety three. Um. And so there were other, that was, you know, around the time that, uh, you know, Psycheo was doing, I think Samurai Aces came out in 93, and that one, you just, you just pop right back in. You're just right back in when you die. Samurai Aces also on the Switch, for those of you interested in playing Samurai Aces. Sounds like I said Samurai Isis, that's not, that's not what it is. Samurai Aces. With uh, one character who's definitely just flying an X-Wing. <laughs> Not even a legally distinct X-Wing. It's just an X-Wing. <laughs> okay, this is the boss. Please die. Don't hit me with your rockets. Please do not. Whew. Ah. Here we go, stage one clear! Look at that. Look at that. Hold on. I need to make sure that my, uh... You know, at least check to Twitter and make sure that, uh... Or the app formerly known as Twitter. Make sure, uh... My posts that were live actually went through. This is riveting, riveting content. Okay, it, it did. It did go through. Who retweeted it and is not here in the chat? Kyle's in the chat. Are you the one who retweeted this and are in the chat? Yay, it's Kyle. Hi, Kyle. We're playing Grindstormer for the Sega Genesis. Um, another uh, dubiously named game for the Sega Genesis. Or no, what, what was a... Uh, no, yeah, Ball Jacks was for the Sega Genesis as well, so... Whoever was making these games for the Genesis... Uh, flew right into the wall. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's not the button I want. There we go. Grindstormer. Yes. Yes, Kyle. It's either a skateboarding game uh, or something slightly more sexual. Would be a great name for a skateboarding game, though. Or a, like a like a skating game more broadly, because I always kind of equate uh, the 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 grind rail with uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, because of these several uh, grind centric levels in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for the GameCube. Ooh, Grind Blade. That that is a good name. Somebody's got to do something with that. Grind Blade. Ah. Ah. I like this very kind of uh, Avatar-esque environment that we are in. The, the, what is it, the Hallelujah Mountains? 
which uh, in a court of law was decided was not similar enough to the works of uh, famed British artist Roger Dean. Yeah, Kyle, it is weird that they're they're like pill-shaped bullets. So it does, does look like hot tamales. The spicy Mike and Ike. I don't know, is that... Are, uh, Kyle, can you fact check for me if uh, hot tamales are manufactured by the same... Uh, uh, a candy corporation that makes Mike and Ikes. Because it, it seems like... What the heck is this? What the heck is this? Uh, I have been known to enjoy a hot tamale from time to time. Ooh! But, uh... As far as, um... Cinnamon candies go, because that's always kind of what hot tamales have struck me as. It's kind of, uh cinnamon adjacent um as far as cinnamon candies go maybe that is my favorite cinnamon candy I was gonna try to name something else but I can't do you have the Trader Joe's near us has had this excellent cinnamon swirl bread that I use to make toast in the mornings delicious Holy smokes. What is going on? Okay, hold on. I gotta... Sorry, this chat is way too long for me to try to read while playing this. Hot tamales. Cinnamon-flavored candy introduced in 1950. Manufactured and marketed in the United States by Just Born. Okay, invented by Bob Born after reworking Mike and Ike. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the, it is It is just spicy Mike and Ikes. Cool. Good to know. Oh my good. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. This is too much. This is too much. Give me the power. I have the power. So I know. Speaking of uh, having the power, uh, with the success of uh, Barbie, obviously Mattel has been developing all sorts of other. Uh, new films based on their properties um one of which i know is a masters of the universe film will dolph lundgren cameo in it and who should be he-man in the new one kyle i'll take your answer off the air if you don't wish to put it in chat as i try to get into this what is this floating lake floating lake that surely has a boss in it please give me the boss yeah this has got to be a boss big boss uh yeah my understanding the original one i think was a a canon film um that might have bankrupted canon i could be i could be misremembering those details um but yeah it had uh, dolph lundgren and i think courtney cox um, and they did, they did sequel bait. There was like a post credits where Skeletor comes back up out of the water and it's like, I'll be back. Never back. Never came back. But I know that the, um, like the, the cartoon, the more modern updates to the cartoon, um, uh, have been fairly successful. Is She-Ra in the same universe? I think Powerhouse did a She-Ra for Netflix that... Kevin Smith EP'd on? I could be making all of this up. The the my my brain soup of uh entertainment IP facts. It just gets very garbled. Very garbled and gumboed. Oh my goodness. Well, that might be it for Grindstormer, because I don't think I can... On some of the PlayStation ROMs, I can add more credits artificially. Let's play just a little bit longer, and then we'll move on to the next one. Tom Holland as the prince and Henry Cavill as He-Man? Hmm, Henry Cavill would be a good He-Man. I would like to see it. Though, I don't know, there still has... Um, I know the, the, the hot goss for the past several months, ever since uh, 
he got replaced as the Witcher by one of the Hemsworths. I know the hot goss is that he, they're like, oh, that's because he's going over to Amazon Prime to do his 40K series. And has that been, like, formally announced, or is that all just industry speculation? Um, because I do love the idea of a Cavill-helmed 40K series, if for no other reason than he's like, seems to be a huge 40K nerd. And so you know that he will, uh, he will treat this, this dense, richly interwoven, uh, galaxy-spanning intellectual property with the love and care that, uh, might actually make a good TV show out of it. Kevin Smith was the showrunner on Netflix for for She-Ra. I need to hold on. I need to resize these windows because I'm I'm getting like three quarters of the chat messages and then the rest of it's cut off. Showrunner for the Netflix show that nosedived the She-Ra show nosedove. I haven't watched it, so I I couldn't say nosedoved. But um, yeah, Kevin Smith is a very hit or miss. Uh, filmmaker for me but uh yeah Cavill doing potentially doing 40k would be neat apparently Kyle I don't know if you've also been seeing this but but uh reviewers whom I trust have said that the the uh the twisted metal show is actually pretty good <laughs> um and so I still have uh Peacock um, from when we were watching uh, Poker Face, which is getting a physical release, thank God, so I can actually get it on Blu-ray and then maybe get rid of Peacock. Um, but if Twisted Metal is actually good, maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe we'll maybe our next uh, Subpixel TV review is gonna be the Twisted Metal show. <laughs> oh, Kyle, and. Uh, who knows if they're actually going to go through with Halo Season 2 after the the uh, SAG and, and WGA stuff resolves whenever that happens. Um, yeah, there's so much of like... Oh, I didn't even think about the fact that it's going to be another 10 years before we get that Borderlands movie if in fact they were still like rewriting and reshooting because now they can't do either of those. Yeah, Kyle, I, I've I've seen clips and I've heard stuff about Twisted Metal that actually makes me very excited to sit down and, and start watching it. Um, I know it's it's not going to be maybe as um, campy and incisive as uh, if they had let um, Paul Verhoeven direct the Twisted Metal TV show. Um, but it does sound like it's at least going to be a fun time, so I'll have to come back. You'll have to come revisit this on a later stream to get Jake's thoughts about Twisted Metal. Um, but what other video game stuff, like Last of Us Season 2 is going to be on hold. Um, the Borderlands movie, if they decide after reshoots that it's even worth releasing. <laughs> wow, that island came up from behind me and killed me. Oh yeah, there's a Fallout TV show. Ooh, wait, Kyle. More, more uh, facts are popping into my head. Um, what's his face? The original EP for Castlevania, who has a is like a, a name that escapes me, but always dresses up in kind of like a goth type look. Name starts with an A or something. Um, he was working with Heart Machine to develop a Hyperlight Drifter anime like two or three years ago that I have heard nothing about. Not it's not it's neither of the Dietz brothers, Sam or Adam. Um It's um his, his name is completely escaping me, but I believe he was an EP. Um And yeah, they were working. There was an announcement of a Hyperlight Drifter anime. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what has happened to that. Oh. I don't know what has happened to that. 
Yeah, so it's going to be a minute before we get... Um, it wasn't Warren Ellis. I think Warren Ellis was was well. I'm sure he was EP, but I I know that he had done most of the most or all of the writing on those first f four seasons. It was four seasons, right? Even though season one is only I think four episodes. Um, and Castlevania Nocturne. That uh, yes, Adi Shankar. That is who I'm thinking of. I believe Adi Shankar had. Uh, it was in some amount of pre-production for a Hyper Light Drifter TV show, or Hyper Light Drifter anime. I don't, I don't know if it was going to be Powerhouse or not. I don't know if they had gotten that far down the road. Um, but I want to see that. I want it. Please give it to me. I mean, not now. Got to wait for the. Got to wait for the movie studios to 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 get off their inappropriately high horse and start wheeling and dealing and shelling out some cash which it is I mean Kyle I know that I know that we're on the same page here um, but it's like if I were what's his face uh, David Zaslav or what's his bucket from Disney um, I mean, like, oh, yeah, we can survive for how long without making a new movie? We are a movie studio, and we're just going to decide not to make movies. We're just not going to do that anymore, because uh, we don't want to deal with the people who actually make movies. Because they're too needy. They just want, you know, meal breaks. And for us not to clone them in a computer. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Zazzy and Iggy. Oh, that's good. Yeah, Bob Iger. That's the name I was trying to come up with. Um, yeah, I don't I don't understand, Kyle. I don't get it. I can't and I can't imagine being a shareholder at either of these places. You know, getting on that uh you know, whenever however they they do shareholders calls or whatever. Uh, quarterly or, or you know annually or whatever and they're like all right what's you know what's in the pipeline nothing nothing is in the pipeline we are making no movies please give us more of your money I can't I can't imagine being a shareholder and, and hearing that on a phone call and then being like yes I will continue feeding this machine I don't get it yeah it's so little money it's so little money in the grand scheme of things that the guilds are asking for. Um, and then while we're at it, we should we should make sure that there's a, a, a VFX union or, or roll them into IATSE. I don't, I don't know what would be the best way to get them uh, fairly treated, uh, but it should happen. It needs to happen. Now, what am I supposed to be shooting? There's not like a... Uh, uh, I don't I don't think there's a stunt union uh, Kyle I think because I'm not sure where stunts fall in like above or below the line type stuff because they're, they're you know their work is happening on screen I don't believe that they're rolled into SAG but I could be wrong um I think SAG really, by and large, is about speaking roles. And so uh, it, it would be a matter of whether or not the stunt people have lines or not. Um, or maybe not. It's, it must not be speaking roles, because I know that J. Michael Straczynski was eligible for SAG because of his cameo in the Thor movie, <laughs> um, where I think he's that guy who's uh, who's trying to pull the hammer out of the ground with his truck. Um, and I know he said that that made him eligible for SAG, but he didn't join SAG. Um Okay, we're gonna move on to another game. Ooh, do -do 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 -do. Oh well, and if the internet is saying it's rolled into SAG AFTRA, I would trust that the internet knows what's up. Oh no, OBS is unresponsive. I may have to. Oop, wait, no, there we go. Okay, I was gonna say I may have to do this. Uh, reframing live on camera 
Um, let's play uh, Eliminate. We're going to play Eliminate Down. Um, a Sega title also for the Sega Genesis, obviously. Uh, and now I have to... I have to reframe it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There we go. Here we are. Here we is. Uh, and we're just going to sit through this excellent uh, opening animation to set the mood, set the tone. Set the vibe for Eliminate Down. Um, a game with, if you go look up the cover art, uh, it's kind of gross. And so I'm assuming at, a, at some point, uh, maybe there's, I haven't played very far into this one, but maybe there's some gross, gross bosses. Kyle, this makes you feel like a, like an octopus. Or a, a quirky squid. Ebon Hawk. Is the Ebon Hawk, is that, um, is that, is that Kyle Katarn's ship or am I thinking of something else? What am I thinking of? What are you thinking of? Oh man. Uh huh. Huh. What is happening here? Ah, I died. You were talking about Kyle Katarn's chip, so we 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 both got onto the same page from from different directions. That sounds right. The Ebon Hawk. That sounds right. That the Ebon Hawk is the ship in Knights of the Old Republic. Um, what's the name of Kyle Katarn's ship? Help. Ah, uh, the uh, the parallax in this is a little messy. I feel like I'm not a hundred percent sure what is able to be slammed into and what isn't. Ah, ah, ah. Well, that was fast. Me died. Start. The Raven's Claw. See, that hack J.K. Rowling just stole. Just stole for her house names. Ah, I don't like this. I don't like these, these swirly boys. Swirly boys, please get away from me. Ah, 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 Okay, now this big s space this bug, buggy, squid, squiddy thing. Ah, ah. This is too much. This weird, like, like mantis. Bone snake. Yeah, I want to do. I mean, uh, Kyle, I am. I know that you know that I'm in the midst of writing like a pretty long, dense uh, shmup script. And yeah, I do want to look at some of these where there is definitely an artistry to to getting the parallax. Uh, um, whoa! Oh, the level is still going. That was not the boss. Holy smokes! What the heck? Are we, in, are we, is this like a re-entry? See missiles coming up from somewhere? Ah! Ah! Um, yeah, there's an artistry to making the parallax uh, clean and, and readable. Legible. Wow. Well, that was, that was pretty interesting, apart from being just swarmed by missiles. Huh. Oh, now there's mountains in the foreground. 
that I can't run into, I can't run into them. Okay, yeah, so that's another bit of like... Yikes. This is, a, I will say, I'm sure that this was uh, quite the technical feat for the time that it came out. They're, 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 they're showing off. The programmers here are definitely showing off what they can do on the Sega Genesis. Wait, what did I just do? Oh, there's multiple modes of fire? Oh, oh, okay. Alrighty. Fire backwards, okay. Well, that's pretty neato. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I'm figuring this one out. I'm figuring it out. Okay, so instead of like an ultimate, because I don't think I'm pressing all the other buttons, there doesn't seem like to have an ultimate attack. There are just uh, multiple modes of fire for uh, different situations. That's interesting. That's interesting. Huh. Huh. These swirly boys are... They are... They are... Not exciting. Huh. 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 Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, this weird snaky boy. Hello, snaky boy. Snaky boy. Ooh. Fire backwards at it. Fire frontwards at it. Okay, okay. That's a that's pretty neat. It's an interesting gimmick. Huh. Ah. Uh. Okay, and now this weird re-entry bit. I'll do this one. Seems like that's at least giving me some downward... Uh, uh. Hi -yi -yi. And I can't tell, like, it seems like some of these are... Some of these are background elements. They don't seem like they're all on the same plane. Because these ones then are bigger. Like, they should be foreground elements. Uh, ah, huh. Yeah, they're like over they're over top of each other. What 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 am I supposed to be avoiding here? Please and thanks. Oh man. Oh man. Ah ah. Okay, these things take a lot to These things take a lot. Uh uh Yikes, yikes, my friend. Oh. This is tough. This is tough. Huh. 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 Ah, that's my, that's my bad. That that one's on me. That one's on me. Wait, there is a bomb. That's definitely that was definitely a bomb power up I just picked. How do I How do I bomb? How bomb, please? How do bomb? How do I bomb? I am pressing so many buttons. Okay, hold on. to do the Genesis wouldn't have been one where I have to hit two buttons at the same time we were that was that was that was a as a tech advancement we had not come to yet right how do bomb please bomb ah okay okay hold on hold on hold on hold your horses hold our horses here okay I edit the game controls. I can see, okay, up, down, start. No, not the keyboard. The 
flight controller. My my Game Boy, my GameCube controller. Oh, hold on, hold on. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, yeah, I don't know what I'm... Oh, hopefully you can't hear the neighbor starting to mow their lawn. Okay, let me, let me bomb. Me bomb, please. Ah. How do bomb? Come on. Yeah, I, uh, I don't understand. Or it's like a shield. It's giving me a shield when I pick up the. Can you hear Waffle yelling at the people mowing their lawn? Waffle. My boy. My son. Ah. Puppy. Puppy. He's angry. Okay, guess so maybe the bombs only, uh... They just give you the little shield. Which seems weird that that would be the item that does that, with a big B on it. Why would it say B and not S? Explain that. Explain that, science. Uh, okay, if I die again before getting to the final boss, then we will move on to the next, the next Sega shmup. Okay, okay, come on now. Come on, friends. Uh, huh? I do like this, like, going through the atmosphere of the gas giant type thing. I am a fan. Even though it makes everything so difficult to comprehend. What what going on? What happening? Why happening? Okay, okay. We are participating in violence. Skulls, flying skulls. How did you get here? Okay, 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 energy. Okay, so E upgrades the weapon. P does something. And then B is my shield. Those are how the items shake out. Okay, is there a final boss coming? It seems like. This seems like, oh yeah, this was the, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And we're figuring out the multiple modes of fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, something happened. Something blowed up. Something's blowing up. Oh no. Oh. Oh, that's too bad. I feel like I was pretty close on that one. But I don't want to keep going. Because uh, this one's just a little too rough around the edges. Go back to big screen. Uh, it's me. It's me. Um. Oh, let's maybe... Let's go. Let's go back just a little bit further. Not on the Sega Genesis but on the Sega Master System. Um, what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to get this set up. The Sega Master System, we're going to play Power Strike 2. Uh, and we're going to have to switch over to the... Uh, to the the widescreen, the widescreen setup, because this one, uh, for whatever reason, is not 4.3. I don't know what um, what Sega's deal was when they did that, um, but yeah, in the early 1930s, people have lived in poverty since, 
seems grammatically incoherent. The Great Depression of 1929, being laid off from their job a great amount. Ooh, this localization feels rough, friends. Uh, oh, a great major a great amount of s pilots became sky pirates to survive. The sea and the sky near Italy have been plundered by them. See, I would have maybe adjusted the lines of those uh, subtitles so that uh, they don't read so weird. I earn my living by shooting down those poor pirates. Uh, not entirely dissimilar to the plot of Porco Rosso. At least at first blush. Ugh. 1993. So even though this is uh, of the same year as the previous two games that we've played, uh, being on the uh, the the previous console generation, we will see that this is uh, just a little bit uh, dicier tech-wise. Certainly feel the age a lot more. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this, this, uh, this feels like an older game. Waffle, why don't you come sit over here, my friend? My baby son. Come be a sky pirate with me, Waffle. Okay, this is, uh, this is interesting. Ah, I think the numbers the numbers that I'm picking up are indicating what 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 uh, type of weapon are the volcanoes shooting at me? The fire is shooting at us. This is yeah. This is oh Kyle. I'm sorry. I can only read half of what you're saying because now the screen is too big. Can I not pause? It's a pause button. The heck is happening? Can't pause the game? To pause the emulator? What are you saying to me? Top down, top down James Bond? I can see that. This is definitely of that era in which a lot of... Uh, like, I feel like the, the late 80s and 90s was kind of the heyday of the... Uh, the licensed, the licensed game. Uh, whereas we started to see fewer and fewer of them uh, into like the tens, and now, um, where now we're really just getting like, oh, the game over. Now we're really just getting like the big AAA licensed ones, like uh, IOI's Bond game, or um, the Machine Games, Indiana Jones. All the, obviously, the EA and Respawn Star Wars stuff, or the EA Star Wars stuff, not just Respawn's not the only one making stuff for Star Wars. Um, but back in the 80s and the 90s, it was like they'd give they'd give that license to anybody, see what kind of game they could make. Waffle, my baby son, my baby boy, come here. Get up here, you little runt. Come here. He doesn't want to be on camera. You want to be on, you want to be on camera, Waffle? Here with your lobster. It's lobster time. It's lobster time. Let me go back to the big camera, Waffle. Go back to the big camera. Big camera time. Yeah. He's so strong. Ugh. He's hefty. Waffle. Come here, dude. Come here, bro. Yeah, you gotta give me the lobster if we're gonna play with it. Uh. <laughs> ah, that's my hand. That's just my whole hand. A menace. All right, can you can you sit on my lap so we can keep gaming? Come here. Come on. Come on. You can bring your lobster with you. Get up here. You little rascal. Flaskal rats. Come on. 
I love switching the first letters of words. Come on, dude. He will not. He will not. Come on. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's not the that's not the right screen. That's the right screen. That's the right one. Let's see how far we can get here, and then maybe we'll do a uh, uh, unprecedented fourth game in one play session. Cause I don't really want to play this until until 3 p.m. <laughs> ah, volcano, please. Crikey. Yeah, what is going on here? It's just a lot, a lot is happening, and there's not quite enough detail for me to really be able to tell what is what. It's just, it's just frantic motion. There's these turrets rising out of the sea. Um, speaking of things rising out of the sea, I had a hankering to rewatch Pacific Rim, uh, and I might do that tonight. That movie is pretty good, and that second movie is pretty bad. Pacific Rim Uprising is actually the only movie I've ever seen uh, at an advanced screening. Because for whatever reason, uh, uh, Hazel had gotten tickets, but but she didn't want to go, so I took a buddy and and uh, <laughs> we walked out of it. And somebody from I can't remember what what uh, the was it Universal that distributed those? I I'm I'm not sure, but uh, whoever was there as the studio representative was like, hey, you know what what did you think of the movie? And pulling people aside and getting them to do a questionnaire. And me and my buddy were like, we have to get out of here because I cannot speak honestly about this movie to to somebody from the studio as somebody who would like a filmmaking job somewhere down the road i cannot be dumping on this movie i mean i'm doing it right now but i'm not doing it to a studio executive right now i'm sure that person wasn't an executive i'm sure they're just someone that the company sent down to to get our thoughts but that movie was rough and i like john boyega oh i need to watch they clone tyrone i need to re-up my netflix subscription so i can watch one movie but yeah i like my boy my boy john uh but that movie was bad it was a not good not good okay this feels like a long level like, I'm doing a lot. Where is the boss? Show me the boss. Ooh, Waffle, are you getting up here or not? You getting up here, buddy? I keep having to move away from the microphone because you're getting, you're getting in my way, dude. My dude, my guy. Holy smokes. There's just so much happening on screen at any given moment. It's that thing we were talking about, shmup legibility. At least the backgrounds are clear. I know I know what I'm able to... Where am I going? Holy cow. This is one of the, the sky pirates? In this big fish ship? Ay ay ay. The heck? Oh, I just heard like a Legend of Zelda chest opening sound effect, but I guess it's because I cleared 100,000 points. Okay, stage one clear. Great. This will play this a little bit longer. Hold on. I'm realizing you're you're seeing. We can we can we can solve these issues here. We're doing it live. We're doing it live, folks. Wanted. Now that guy's dead. Now this guy. He's wanted for eighty thousand dollars. What kind of weird ship is he going to have? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I can like, barely keep track of where my character is. I 
Yikes, yikes. Uh, uh. I do, I kind of wish, um, I think now is the time for uh, a AAA Porco Rosso game. I just want to fly around the Mediterranean. I think that's that's really that's really the the goal here is just to kind of meander around the Mediterranean in a fun uh whimsical seaplane. It's really all I've ever wanted. This this ties into this ties into my uh underwater photography fantasy. Uh I think in that fantasy I am I am living out of a seaplane which I'm flying to and from various uh, tropical locations. What happens if I continue? Okay, stage two. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I want to live on a seaplane, and I want to take pictures of fish. And um, that's my dream. If I knew 100% that I could survive on that, uh, I, I think I, that may even be enough to have me give up on filmmaking if I can just live on a seaplane and take pictures of fish that's the dream that's the dream oh boy oh uh, uh I I am a sucker for a shark movie speaking of big fish uh, I watched the reef 2010 Australian indie feature um is you know the movie was fine i think it it's it was most interesting because they got a lot of real shark photography which gave it a little bit of like a documentary feel cuz a lot of the shark stuff felt like you were watching like shark week on the discovery channel um but um yeah me likey a big shark it's interesting because i i have like a love hate relationship with with uh most of those shark movies are essentially just monster movies and i have a love hate relationship with them because i think um sharks don't deserve that reputation uh it was interesting hazel and i were watching a documentary called a uh, shark exploitation i believe a shutter original documentary um about uh shark movies and um they had uh wendy benchley on their wife of peter benchley i believe because peter's dead um and uh she was talking about um when you know they made jaws and uh spielberg had made jaws and and she was like yeah we loved that movie so much but we were kind of surprised when it it had such a cultural effect like that kind of cultural effect because i guess peter benchley had written jaws um not believing in kind of the, like the rogue shark theory that the movie traffics in peter benchley i guess didn't place a lot of uh uh credence in that um and uh he was like a big fan of sharks similar to myself big beautiful big beautiful fish and uh was not pleased with the effect that the movie had in in people going off and you know hunting sharks and making sharks into the villain i love a shark movie um but um we should not be hunting sharks they're a valuable part of the ecosystem and they're big and they're beautiful and i want to give them a hug even the big scary ones whale shark i don't know is whale shark the cutest shark i don't know there's like the you know your lemon sharks and your bamboo sharks those are those are pretty cute um and then even your meaner ones your you know your tigers and your bulls um they're just so big. They are big and they're cute. Don't hunt sharks. Don't do it. We don't need to. As uh, as I think, uh, was it a vine? I can't remember if it was a vine or just a news story. But um, you're in the shark's house. You're in the ocean. You're in the shark's house. You can't expect the shark to not not give you a little nibble when you're in their house. You just have to know how to, you know how to, you know, coexist with them. Sorry for anybody still watching or watching the VOD who uh, is not interested in me being a shark apologist right now. But, um, 
Me likey de shork. Me likey de shork. But I am definitely too involved in my discussion of sharks and not gaming very well in this moment. Gotta at least get to this next boss. That's the goal here. We'll get to the next boss and then we'll call it a we'll call it a day. This waffle is getting antsy. He's in the other room now by our uh, the sliding door that leads to the outside. I can hear him. He yearns for outside. I know, buddy. I'm listening. We'll go in a bit, bud. Oh. Okay, we got to be in this level so long. We got to be getting to it. Come on. Wow. Okay. Seems like, as with some of the other games of this era, we're not quite to pixel-perfect combat yet, so the hitbox is fairly forgiving. Like, in, in a more modern game, some of these hits would definitely rinse me. Starfish? Starfish are killing me? Oh, ha, oop, okay. Is that it? That's it. That's the one. Okay, we're close enough to the uh, the end of the hour. Um, that, uh, oh, it just goes right back to that opening cutscene. Okay, we're close enough to the end of the hour that I think we will call it a day there. Um, thank you. To everybody, Kyle, maybe if it's just you, but to anybody else who stopped by, thanks for watching. This is Subpixel. I'm Jake Terrio. This was Sunday Shmups. Um, this has been a recurring Sunday stream. I will be uh, absent the next two Sundays because we have guests coming into town and they will be in this room and there will be uh, no Sunday shmup stream so keep an eye on our weekly schedule to see what will be uh, taking that spot in my absence um, tune in Tuesdays for Subpixel Live I think the boys are uh, continuing their Brothers in Arma series if you want to see a couple of the other folks play Milsim Arma 3 um, on Tuesday night I think 8pm 8 or 9pm Eastern uh, Thursdays, 9 p.m. Eastern. That's our local chat podcast. Tune into that. Uh, we'll also be releasing a new episode of Play This on Thursday for our uh, our monthly recommendations of games that we think you should play that maybe have been underappreciated in other avenues. Um, yeah, and um, that's us. D d d d like and subscribe our videos on YouTube at uh, Subpixel. We do documentaries, video analyses, all sorts of other good stuff. Uh, tune in there. Check those out. They're pretty good. But um, yeah, to reiterate, Jake Terrio, Sunday Shmups, Subpixel. Pretty fun, right? I hope you had a good time. I had a good time. Uh, I'll see you whenever the next time is that I do this. Bye-bye. Uh,